In this video, I'll show you how you can get many different materials with different colors and looks from just one image texture, as you can see in this thumbnail. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by enabling the Node Wrangler add-on, which we need to uh, quickly add some PBR textures. And then let's select an object, go in to the shader editor, add a new material, and then select the principal shader and press Control shift t and Then we can add the uh, texture data, and you can find some free textures in the link in the description. And then just download and unzip the download. And then you select that unzipped folder, and then select all of the uh, images. And as you can see, it automatically sets up all of the texture data with the height map and so on. And I'm going to use cycles and the GPU. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the uh, CPU. And then we can go into render view. And as you can see, we have the material set up. And then next, we can customize that texture. So uh, let's go a bit closer. And then I'm going to uh, press B to box select and move these uh, nodes a bit to the right side. And then press Shift A. And let's start off with a noise texture. And then in between, we need to add a color ramp so that we can edit the colors. And then in the color ramp, we can edit the ratio of the different colors as well as changing the colors. And if you want even more control over the image texture, you can add even more textures and try out some different values for these as well. Okay, and uh, then we can edit the color. So we can make it blue, for example. And then you can just play around with the uh, different colors and move the uh, color stops. So by just adding a noise texture and a color ramp, you can get a lot more control over your image textures. And that's it for uh, this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more content like this.